Democrats pulled off a classic partisan gerrymander in the, in the state of Illinois, which lately is famous for its uh, ne'er-do-well governor, uh, Blagojevich, uh, uh, whose second trial was just uh, completed uh, by controlling uh, the process uh, with the governor and the state legislature. They redrew maps that will make it likely they will pick up five or six seats alone in, uh, in that one state. If in California they pick up two or three or four, uh, they have prepared themselves for losses they can expect in North Carolina, in, in Texas, in Georgia, uh, uh, possibly in Michigan, uh, Indiana, some of the other, uh, other seats. Uh, uh, Republicans control many more districts in the, in the sense of controlling states where district lines are going to be drawn, but the, the problem for them is they have so many marginal members. Uh, 61 of their incumbents uh, represent districts that uh, Barack Obama carried in 2008. So much of the Republican redistricting effort has gone into shoring up marginal incumbents, uh, which means Republicans can't take full advantage of, of uh, the opportunity they might otherwise have had by winning all those state legislatures and governorships uh, in 2010. It really is a, uh, is a game uh, where only the insiders have much real influence. Uh, uh, but efforts are underway. Uh, we've worked with uh, a team of uh, experts to put together software uh, that would allow citizens and groups of citizens to draw their own district lines. Other packages are being created. Uh, groups are mobilizing to get states to, uh, to release information, uh, release preliminary maps, get comments in. Uh, uh, our uh, own effort has been involved in about a dozen states. We've run redistricting contests uh, where, in some cases, college students and other cases citizens or citizen groups have vied to draw maps that optimize uh, factors that uh, they believe are important in redistricting. And it, it doesn't mean giving one party an advantage over the other or, or shoring up incumbents to make sure they don't face any serious competition. Will it change the outcome of uh, redistricting this round? Probably not. But I think we've we're beginning to change expectations about what's a legitimate process for redistricting.